there with more Pat. Matt, uh, hundreds of people, we assume, hundreds of people based on the information that we've gotten from emergency officials here are still in there, obviously. We don't know their condition. Uh, we have not seen anybody coming out in some time. The question really for rescue officials at this point is when they can begin to move large numbers of emergency uh, service units, either firefighters, police, or of any kind, into that area down there. Uh, this area you're looking at here, we are probably about 12 blocks north of where the World Trade Center once stood. This area here has been secured off basically for emergency workers and also for the press. Uh, if you just beyond those police barricades, about 50 yards beyond me, is as far as we are allowed to go. And then beyond that, as you can see, literally hundreds of firefighters and other emergency workers who are massed down there. They have bulldozers. Uh, they have all sorts of ambulances and the like. But we have not seen more than a handful of ambulances coming out of there uh, in the last hour or so. And that may be only that they are not using this particular way out. Uh, that is, of course, possible. They may be rooting them from other directions. Uh, we can't say that. But at least from this direction, we have seen only a handful of ambulances coming out of there. And clearly, there have to be a great many people in there who are either injured or dead at this point. Uh, we spoke to a Port Authority police officer, a lieutenant who was in the building at the time just a few minutes ago. Uh, the Port Authority, we remind you once again, is the agency that runs those two twin towers as well as the World Trade Center complex and the airports and the tunnels and bridges around New York City. Uh, he said that he had been in the, uh, in the building at the time, that he heard the explosions. He said it was a frightening situation. And at one point after the initial crash of those two airliners into the sides of the buildings when there were fires blazing. He said that he saw at least a couple of people leaping from high floors, uh, obviously because of the fires presumably behind them. Uh, anyone leaping from a height of that, uh, he said, probably at least the 30th floor, uh, obviously leaping to their death. Uh, there will be a number of horrible stories. We have already heard many of them so far. But at this point, we have uh, basically uh, what we have is hundreds of emergency rescue people who are massed here and we are waiting to hear when they will be able to go in in significant numbers that's the key thing a handful may go in here and there but obviously there are most likely large numbers of people who need help and we are waiting to hear when large numbers of rescue workers will be able to go in back to the studio all right pat dawson here in manhattan pat thank you very much a bulletin